The essence of Hue in Colorado's car culture. Oh, the quirky world of vehicle registration. In Colorado, they've got a color-coded system that can bamboozle out of staters. Let's break down the mystery of the red versus green license plate intrigue. It all comes down to how often you're breathing in that crisp, rocky mountain air. The red license plates in Colorado are generally tied to vehicles which are part of a fleet. I'm talking about the ones owned by companies and entities that have a whole lineup of cars, trucks, and vans at their disposal. They rotate these vehicles out regularly for various reasons, which could be anything from maintenance schedules to operational needs. Now, on the other hand, we've got the green license plates. These typically signify that the vehicle is privately owned. That's your everyday Joe's car. The good old family wagon or the sleek little runabout that zips you around Denver or Boulder, or even out to the ski slopes. Still, the curiosity persists. Why colors? Colorado Department of Revenue Division of Motor Vehicles, DMV, uses this color system as an at-a-glance tool for law enforcement and other keen observers to spot the difference between fleet and personal vehicles without having to squint at tiny text or fiddle with database queries. While the color-coded system may seem a tad peculiar, it does have its practicality, especially when considering the logistical aspects of fleet management versus personal vehicle use. So there you have it, a splash of color on the monochrome canvas of vehicle legislation. As for us here in Portland, Oregon, our plates are a less colorful affair, but they do feature our beautiful Douglas fir. Nonetheless, wherever you drive, whether your plate is red, green, or emblazoned with a towering tree, safe travels to you.